Hi everyone, we're going to find the point on the parabola y squared equals 2x that is closest to the point 1 comma 4. So I kind of just sketched a little graph here. Here's your parabola and that uh, opens up to the right and here's your point and we want to find the closest um, point that's closest to it. So it'd be something like like this. And there's a point here, x, y. What's the closest point to that? So clearly we're going to use the distance formula. And what we want to do is find the distance from between the point 1, 4. And I'm going to call this point x, y. And x, y. So you use the distance formula. So that's going to be the distance equals square root of x minus 1 squared plus y minus 4 squared. Now we have y squared equals 2x. So I can say that x equals um, y squared divided by 2 and substitute that in. Because when we're going to we're going to have to differentiate this, um, so I want to do that. I also want to, when I do that, square both of these, get rid of this radical. So I'm going to have d squared equals. Now my x is now going to be y squared divided by two minus one squared plus uh, y minus four squared. Now I only have y's. So that's going to make it easier to differentiate. All right. So now that you have that, um, we can uh, differentiate y. So I'm going to let d squared equal f of y. So f prime of y equals, and you just do your chain rule, that's going to be 2, and um, differentiate that. So that's 1 half y squared minus 1 times the derivative of uh, this is just y because the 2's will cancel. So I, I did the outer function and copied this in. Then I took the derivative of the inner function, which is just y, plus, and do this one, 2 times y minus 4, and the derivative of y is just 1. Okay, simplifying this, we're going to get y squared minus 2, and then, so this is actually going to be um, times y plus 2y minus 8. This gives us y cubed minus 2y plus 2y minus 8. Now these cancel, so we end up having uh, y cubed minus 8. All right, now what we're going to do is use the first derivative test for absolute extreme values. So the absolute minimum occurs when y is 2. So we set this to 0. We get y cubed equals 8. Cube root both sides. And you get y equals 2. So therefore, all you need to do is plug in your y. I always do that. Let me see. So basically, um, f prime of y equals 0 when y equals 2. We got that. So f prime of y is negative when y is less than 2. And f prime of y is positive when y is greater than 2. So for the first derivative test for absolute extreme values, the absolute minimum occurs when y equals 2. So the corresponding of x is x equals y squared divided by 2. So plug in your 2, and you're going to get um, x equals 2 squared divided by 2, which is 2. So the closest point to 1 comma 4 is 2 comma 2. 
So this is your X and this is your Y. And there it is. And what I want to do is go ahead and um, add something. I wanted to add this real quick. There's a little jump. So this is what we use. The first derivative test for absolute extreme values. And what we noticed is that ours fell into uh, category B. Now this is a variant of the first derivative test. So when our derivative was negative, um, our x was less than 2. When our derivative was positive, our x was greater than 2. So we found the absolute minimum value of f, or in our case, the closest um, point to 1, 4, as opposed to the farthest point from 1, 4. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.